So my role here has been first in the preliminary reconnaissance to lead our teams that were gathering information uh, that would help us determine whether we would recommend a full technical investigation under our NCST authorities. And secondary, after we, the NIST director established an NCST team uh, to lead the efforts to collect and preserve evidence that would be necessary to complete a full technical investigation moving forward. Once we establish an investigation, how we were going to weave our efforts and allow the search and rescue to be the primary effort, but weave in our efforts in between there so that we were still um, playing a role using our expert knowledge to help them, folks that were part of that re rescue effort, understand um, not to throw away evidence and instead um, separate really key components of that structure that would allow us to later reconstruct you know, where these pieces came from, um, have a, us, give us NIST um, an understanding of the building uh, construction process and um, how that compares to how the structure was designed. We we're trying to understand how this building failed we would like to reconstruct this failure. And in order to do that, we need as much information as possible. So one aspect is this physical evidence, right? So as much physical evidence of the original building as possible and being here early on and throughout. We've never, we've never left here. We've never not provided 24 seven engineering expertise to the incident to ensure that we were capturing the importance of preserving that evidence um, and making sure that it was protected. These key elements you know, of the structure, they, they all tell a story. They might all tell a really tiny story, but they all tell an important story. And we needed to really be the stewards of um, protecting all of those stories. And you know whether that meant that we were educating people that were on the site, so each of the urban search and rescue teams that are deployed, they all have engineers on their staff, right, in their teams. And so once we could have this engineer to engineer conversation and explain how important it was for the investigation to be able to retain these pieces, and, and not just retain them, but understand where they were at the time of collapse, so that we can then stitch together a story later on is really critical. And ensuring that we have those components that are telling us that story is really critical. And so a lot of the efforts that are gonna happen, I would say next, which is inspecting all of these specimens that we've been able to collect and tag and include in the evidence log, is looking at them up close from a structural engineering perspective and from a material science perspective. Those two are very key next.